Hey everybody, and welcome to my channel, Just a Man and His Deuce and a Half. My name is Bill, and today, what I got for you, uh, we're going to discuss the upgraded headlights. So, how about let's just get right to it. Alright, so what I've got here is I printed off uh, the electrical schematics for the M35A2. Now, they didn't change these that much. Uh, matter of fact, I'm not sure they really changed them really at all uh, during the A2 series. Uh, there may be some changes with A3 uh, because they had, you know, dual circuit brakes and... Uh, and automatic transmission but I still believe everything was pretty basic so but I do know the a2 is pretty much the same schematic uh, throughout the, all the years but um, anyway so I will put a, a screenshot of, of the actual schematic you know so you all can and I'll and I'll post a link in the description but um, anyway, let's I'll scroll in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So on wire 17, which is your high beam, and 18, which is your low beam or normal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's what we're going to focus on today. Oh, and also this all this power, which is coming from the lighting switch, which is that multi-mechanical switch piece of anyway. We'll open the hood and we'll show you what I got. So I will also show you the link for these headlights that I put on here, which are just uh, halogen with a halo. Um, it's so much, so much nicer than uh, the original. I will also show a picture. Uh, that I took a long time ago uh, when I put these on that showed you how dim the uh, the original lights were and uh, and how bright how much brighter these look. Right. So, like I said, like I said, wire 17, which is your highs, and 18 is your low. So the blue. The blue wire that comes out is my low beam. The white wire, I oh, hope you all can see that. Oh, maybe not. All right, and then the, right there. So the white wire on this one connects for the high beam. And the blue wire, let's see if we can see that one, which is 18, connects to the blue wire, which is your low beam. And, of course, black wire is ground. Uh, I also want to show I went ahead and I stayed with the military connectors, which I got from Big Mike's Motor Pool. Let me position the camera and we will turn the headlights on. All right, what I forgot to mention was there's a second black wire which runs the halo lights. I've just got those connected to the number five wire, which is your, uh, your hot. So whenever the key or when your main power switch is on, those will come on. So I'm getting ready to, to uh, turn the headlights on. and uh, You're going to see that halo come on. And then I will turn the headlights on and I will do the uh, the dim lights first and then I'll do the, the brights. All right, here we go. All right, so here is main power. So right there you see the halo and then I will turn on the headlights. 
right there is low and right there's high and at nighttime uh, I'm just gonna tell you world of difference um, driving this thing I mean I understand the military you know they really wanted to be able to see but just see enough and you know and there you go I got the main key off but the uh, lights run off of a different switch I guess so I haven't rewired nothing like that or somebody else did all right but that is that um, I want to finish by thanking each and every one of you for all your comments for for everything um, I I too am you know learning uh, ongoing I've owned this truck uh, six seven years something like that um, well as long as I've been putting out videos um, I've kind of lost count really but um, I I absolutely love this truck and I I love the five tons as well maybe one day uh, in the future I can own a five ton but um, anyway uh, again thank you all for watching and uh, let's let's see if I can get up to 500 subscribers that would be cool um, it's my next hurdle I guess I'm almost there um, but anyway I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.